Hey everyone, it's Miss Ellis. How are you doing? I miss you so much. However, I come to you with Spirit Week because today is a What You're Reading Wednesday. I wanted you to know that I'm reading a book called Where the Crawdads Sing. And I don't know if you know what a crawdad is, but this book is about a girl who lives in a marsh where the crawdads live and she is finding out a secret that nature is keeping. Hmm. Well, in Spirit Week, we also have Earth Day. Did you know today is also Earth Day? And Earth Day is on April 22nd, which is today, Wednesday. And it is a special day we get to celebrate Earth and figure out different ways to help it. So in honor of Earth Day, I'm going to read to you a story about the Earth. But there are a few words you're going to need to know when you hear them in my story. So we're going to play a special game. When you hear my vocabulary words, you got to put up your V's for vocabulary and say v -v vocab because that's going to be one of our vocabulary words. The first vocabulary word you're going to need to know is compost. Can you say compost? Compost. Compost is actually turning food waste into food for the earth. So if you have a banana peel, which is the waste of the food that we ate, we can actually give it to the ground and the earth will use that as food. So banana peel can be compost. The, the vocab. Our second word is reuse. And hopefully y'all are noticing our prefix on the beginning of reuse because re means again and use is when we use something. So reuse means to use something again. Excellent job. Our second word is reuse, the, the vocab. Our third word is protect. When you protect something, you keep something from getting hurt. So we need to protect our earth from people hurting it. What's our word? Protect, the, the vocab. Our last word is earthling. Hello, earthling. This is someone who lives on planet Earth. So you and I are both earthlings. Can you say earthlings? Earthling. Great job. B -b vocab. All right, when I read my story today, you are going to hear those vocabulary words and secretly say when I say them out loud. All right, can you do that? Perfect. So Miss McGrath talked about when you read a new story that we should predict what the story might be about. So you are going to predict what my story is going to be about. It is called Earth Day Every Day. Hmm. A story about Earth Day Every Day might be about us celebrating Earth Day every day? I don't know. So glad you're here to find out. Let's go ahead and read this story. All right. Now that you're here, let's go ahead and read this story called Earth Day Every Day written by Lisa Bullard and illustrated by Exo Kin. Chapter one, what a mess. My name's Trina. I'm an earthling. I live here on planet earth. So do trees and bees and manatees. Unless you're from Mars, you're an earthling too. People don't always take good care of our earth home. We do things that hurt the earth. We make the air dirty, we throw away too much, we waste power. Mom says people should clean up their own messes, but earthlings made this earth mess. So we earthlings should fix it. It's a job for everyone. Chapter two, Miss Big Mouth. My brother calls me Miss Big Mouth, so I used my big mouth to help the earth. Last week, I asked everyone I know to plan something for Earth Day. Today was finally the big day, April 22nd. Earth Day happens once a year on April 22nd. On that day, people everywhere remember to help the earth. Earth Day also reminds us to take care of our earth all year long. My teacher taught my class how to plant trees. Everyone got to help. Someday our trees will grow to be much taller than we are. They'll make good homes for birds. My friends formed an Earth Day club. We had our first meeting at lunch. 
Earth's problems means problems for animals too. Even my favorite tigers are having trouble. So our club decided to save money to help animals. I wonder what Earth Day Club you can win. Chapter three, my family's Earth Day. My family and neighbors had an Earth Day trade. Everybody brought stuff they don't need anymore. We traded for things we want. Mom wouldn't let me trade my brother. So I traded an old puzzle for a soccer ball. Do you think you could make an Earth Day trade? Now my family is having a special Earth night. We turned off the TV and the computer. That way we don't use as much power. Instead, we're playing board games. My dog Daisy and I are winning. Maybe you can use your big mouth too. Together we can talk to everyone about helping the Earth. We'll ask people to make Earth Day every day. Then we can all find other ways to save the Earth tomorrow. The end. Well, I hope you heard our b -b vocabulary words and now you can go and figure out how you can make Earth Day every day. I bet you predicted that was what our story was going to be about. So great job. Thanks for listening and you go and save the Earth today. Earthling, later.